Hi and welcome back to Stamp Academy. We are now halfway through our spring 2013 edition of Project Parade and when we get halfway through we do what's known as a sneak peek which is when we let the rest of the world see one of our projects. And so for today's sneak peek, we have a tabletop film strip display for you. And what you basically do is you attach this to a binder clip. And then when you want to look at your pictures, you just gently pull on your ribbon. And then each couple shows through that little heart. And then when you're through looking at them, you just take it and you feed that transparency right back up into the tube that you've created. It sits on a binder clip that's stuck through the back of the cardstock, and then it stands up on its own. To begin, you're going to start with your multi-purpose platform on tab two, put a cutting plate down, and then you're going to take one of those red pieces of cardstock and put that down. You're going to go to your Hearts of Flutter framelits and take out your scalloped framelit. You are going to center that both horizontally and vertically, trap it in with a post-it note, cover it with a cutting plate, and run it through the big shot. When it comes out, you're going to take it and put it inside of your Lacy Brocade Textured Impressions folder. You are then going to sandwich it between two cutting plates, and then you're going to put it on a multi-purpose platform on tab one and run it through the Big Shot. When it comes out, you're going to have that textured impression all over your red card stock. You're going to flip it over. You're going to put one piece of sticky strip down this side and another piece of sticky strip down this side. This center piece is intentionally left unglued. You're going to take your piece of white card stock and remove the adhesive backing on your red piece and then you're going to adhere one to the other very carefully lining them up so that they match perfectly. So that's going to give you this little pocket. You're going to take your More and More Design a Series paper and you want the hearts to go this way when they're curled. So you're going to look at it this way and then flip it over. You're going to put some sticky strip on the back of that white piece of cardstock. Remove the adhesive backing. Okay, when you adhere this, it's important that you clear about an eighth to a quarter of an inch from the bottom. So you're going to center it and then you're going to just clear a little bit of the bottom and adhere. Now you're going to turn it over and you're going to take that other piece of real red cardstock and you're going to put a piece of sticky strip down each side and then remove the adhesive backing. What you're doing is you're setting these up directly behind each other. So you know that you were about an eighth to a quarter of an inch from the bottom and you were centered. So just do exactly the same thing and adhere. You're going to turn it over once again and with the punched heart piece at the bottom, you're going to measure up from the bottom with a ruler and a pencil and you're going to mark first at three and a quarter and then again at four and a half and you're going to do the same thing on the other side first you're going to mark it at three and a quarter and then at four and a half and that's where you're going to put your DSP right between those two marks flush to the edge of the designer series paper so now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the top of the More and More DSP and you're going to roll it down to form a tube at the top. So you're going to roll it a few times so that it gets a curl to it. What you're then going to do is remove the adhesive backing. So now your sticky strip is exposed. What you're going to do is this edge of your Designer Series paper should touch the edge of your sticky strip on the top. So the beginning of my sticky strip is here. So I want to make sure that's perfectly lined up. So I'm going to push that down and then I'm going to continue to roll it so that the sticky strip will grab that designer series paper and adhere it. So it's sticking as I'm rolling. Okay, so now it created that little roll and it's stuck to itself. So now you've formed this film strip tube, which is only adhered on the left and right sides. 
The film strip is made from two and a quarter by 11 inch transparency or window sheet. And the designer's given you a couple of ways to do this. She uses my digital studio, which is Stampin' Up's digital studio program, which is phenomenal. And you can actually go to your demonstrator's website and download it free for a trial. So once she printed these transparencies, she cut them to two and a quarter by 11. And then what you're going to do is you're going to punch a hole. So you're just gonna take your 1 16th punch and you're just gonna punch a hole right there in the center. You're gonna take the piece of real red 1 8 inch taffeta ribbon, fold it in half, and then you're gonna push a brad through both of those layers slightly below the fold. Now what you might have to do is do one layer at a time and I just took my paper piercer and just made a little hole. Just be careful with the paper piercer because you definitely don't want to poke yourself. So I put it through the first layer and now I'm going to feed it through the second layer. Once you have that you're going to put it through the hole that you've made in your transparency, flip it over and open those little brad legs. Now what you're going to do is feed the transparency up through that little pocket that you've created. So it's going underneath the heart. And then just gently feed it up and it'll roll right through that little tube that you've created. And it'll sit nicely in there with your little edge hanging out. Just take your ribbon scissor and decoratively cut these two little ribbons. So you have a, a nice decorative edge. And then what you're going to do is take a piece of designer series paper. Again, I used more amore. And you're going to attach this around your binder clip. So what I'm just doing is getting the shape of it and then creasing it. And then I'm just going to take some sticky strip and I'm going to put it on the inside of the DSP. Once you have your sticky strip adhered, you're going to take off all of those protective backings to the sticky strip and then you're just very carefully going to line that up on the binder clip and then you're just going to wrap it around. Now you can make this stand up straight. What you're going to do is this pocket back here just fits over one of the binder clips and your project will stand straight up. Or what you can do is take these two bend them back and then tilt it and then feed it through. And then your project will sit up at an angle like this. And then when you want to look at it, you just pull and each couple will pull through that little heart separately. And then just feed it back through when you're through looking at it. Next you're going to feed the 1 8 inch taffeta ribbon all the way through and you're going to just tie it in a bow. Then you're going to take one of the tags from the two tags die, the little perforated one is the one that the designer used, and then the word love, and stamp them onto white cardstock using real red ink. Once you've done that, you're going to take the tag punch, and you're going to punch that out, and then put a 1 16th inch hole in, feed in some of your cherry cobbler seam binding and then you're going to feed it under that bow and you're going to tie it in a knot and then tie another bow. Once you have that done just trim off the edges of your little bow. So that is your project parade project for today. We hope you enjoyed your sneak peek. If you did, you can see similar projects at www.stampacademy.com. You can sign up for a spring 2013 edition. Your first 15 projects will load immediately. And then we have 15 more coming for you. Please check out our gold level membership as well. Again, it's www.stampacademy.com.